Passion Travel is a channel specializing in all things travel street food and subscribe. Anticuchos. Grilled skewers of marinated beef hearts or other meats, often served with potatoes and a spicy sauce. Anticuchos are a popular and flavorful street food in Bolivia, made from marinated and grilled skewers of meat. While beef heart is the traditional choice for anticuchos, other meats like beef, chicken, or even pork can also be used. The skewers are typically served with potatoes and a spicy peanut sauce. Here's a recipe for traditional Bolivian anticuchos. Ingredients. For the marinade, 2 pounds beef heart, beef, chicken, or pork, cut into bite-sized pieces. 1 quarter cup red wine vinegar. 2 cloves garlic, minced. 1 teaspoon ground cumin. 1 teaspoon paprika. 1 teaspoon dried oregano. 1 half teaspoon ground black pepper. 1 half teaspoon ground aji amarillo, or substitute with cayenne pepper. Salt, to taste. For the peanut sauce, Hawankina sauce. 1 cup roasted unsalted peanuts. 2 aji amarillo peppers, or substitute with other hot peppers. 2 cloves garlic, minced. 1 half cup queso fresco or feta cheese. 1 cup evaporated milk. 1 quarter cup vegetable oil. Salt and pepper, to taste. For serving. Small yellow potatoes, boiled and peeled. Skewers, wooden skewers soaked in water or metal skewers. Instructions. Marinating the meat. In a bowl, combine the red wine vinegar, minced garlic, ground cumin, paprika, dried oregano, ground black pepper, aji amarillo, and salt to create the marinade. Add the meat pieces to the marinade and toss to coat them evenly. Cover and refrigerate for at least two hours, or ideally overnight, to allow the flavors to meld. Preparing the peanut sauce, Hawankina sauce. In a blender or food processor, combine the roasted peanuts, aji amarillo peppers, minced garlic, queso fresco or feta cheese, and evaporated milk. Blend until the mixture is smooth and creamy. If it's too thick, you can add more milk to achieve your desired consistency. While blending, gradually drizzle in the vegetable oil to emulsify the sauce. Season the sauce with salt and pepper to taste. Set it aside. Assembling and grilling the anticuchos. Thread the marinated meat pieces onto the skewers, ensuring they are close together but not overcrowded. Preheat a grill or grill pan to medium-high heat. Oil the grates to prevent sticking. Grill the skewers for about 3 to 5 minutes on each side, or until the meat is cooked to your desired level of doneness and has a nice char. Yajwa. A spicy salsa made from tomatoes, locodo peppers, and spices, commonly served with many Bolivian dishes. Yajwa is a traditional Bolivian salsa that adds a burst of flavor and heat to many dishes. It's made from tomatoes, locodo peppers, similar to ricotto peppers, and herbs. Yajwa is typically served as a condiment alongside grilled meats, empanadas, saltenas, and other Bolivian dishes. Here's a basic recipe for making yajwa. Ingredients. 2 to 3 medium-sized tomatoes. 1 to 2 locodo peppers. Substitute with habanero or ricotto peppers if unavailable. 2 to 3 sprigs of fresh cilantro. 1 small red onion, finely chopped. 1 clove garlic, minced. Salt, to taste. Black pepper, to taste, optional. Instructions. Start by roasting the locodo peppers. You can do this by placing them directly over a flame or on a hot grill. Rotate the peppers until the skin is charred and blistered on all sides. This process helps to soften the peppers and impart a smoky flavor. After roasting, let the peppers cool for a few minutes, then peel off the charred skin. Be cautious as the peppers can be very spicy, so you might want to use gloves and avoid touching your face. Remove the seeds and membranes from the peppers to reduce their heat. If you prefer a milder salsa, you can remove all the seeds. For a spicier yajwa, leave some seeds in. Chop the roasted and cleaned locodo peppers finely. If you're concerned about the heat, you can start with one pepper and add more later if needed. Dice the tomatoes and finely chop the fresh cilantro. In a bowl, combine the chopped locodo peppers, diced tomatoes, minced garlic, finely chopped red onion, and cilantro. Season the mixture with salt to taste and add black pepper if desired. Be conservative with the salt initially, as you can always add more later. Gently stir the ingredients together until they are well combined. Taste the yajwa and adjust the seasoning, adding more salt or pepper if necessary. Keep in mind that the flavors will develop and intensify as the salsa sits. 
Cover the yajwa and refrigerate it for at least 30 minutes before serving to allow the flavors to melt. Serve the yajwa as a zesty and spicy condiment alongside your favorite Bolivian dishes. Yajwa is known for its bold and spicy flavor, and it complements many Bolivian foods wonderfully. Adjust the heat level to your preference by controlling the number of seeds and membranes you include from the locoto peppers. Enjoy this traditional Bolivian salsa with your meals. Salchipapas. French fries served with sliced sausages, topped with various sauces. Salchipapas is a popular street food dish in many Latin American countries, including Bolivia, Peru, and Ecuador. It's a simple yet delicious dish made from sliced or diced sausages, salchichas, served with French fries, papas. Salchipapas are typically topped with a variety of condiments and sauces, making them a flavorful and satisfying street food. Here's a basic recipe for making salchipapas. Ingredients. 4 to 6 hot dogs or sausages. 4 large potatoes, peeled and cut into thick fries. Vegetable oil, for frying. Salt, to taste. Ketchup, mustard, mayonnaise. Aji sauce, spicy pepper sauce, optional. Pickled onions, optional. Instructions. Preparing the French fries. Start by washing and peeling the potatoes. Cut them into thick fries, about one half inch wide. Rinse the potato slices in cold water to remove excess starch, then pat them dry with a kitchen towel. Heat a deep fryer or a large pot with vegetable oil to 350 to 375 degrees Fahrenheit, 175 to 190 degrees Celsius. Carefully add the potato slices to the hot oil, working in batches if necessary to avoid overcrowding the fryer or pot. Fry the potatoes until they are golden brown and crispy, which should take about 5 to 7 minutes per batch. Use a slotted spoon or a spider strainer to remove the fries and place them on paper towels to drain any excess oil. Season the hot French fries with salt immediately after removing them from the oil. Preparing the sausages. While the French fries are frying, you can prepare the sausages. You can either grill or pan fry them until they are cooked and slightly browned. Once the sausages are cooked, slice them into bite-sized pieces or leave them whole, depending on your preference. Assembling the salchipapas. Place the hot, crispy French fries on a serving plate. Arrange the sliced or diced sausages on top of the French fries. Drizzle ketchup, mustard, and mayonnaise over the sausages and fries. You can also add aji sauce or other condiments for extra flavor and heat. Optionally, top the salchipapas with pickled onions for a tangy and crunchy contrast. Serve the salchipapas immediately while they are hot and enjoy this flavorful street food dish. Salchipapas are a popular street food because of their simplicity and satisfying flavors. They can be customized with various condiments and sauces to suit your taste, making them a versatile and beloved dish in Latin American cuisine. Humintas. Steamed corn cakes made from a mixture of ground corn, cheese, and spices, wrapped in corn husks. Humintas are a delicious and traditional South American dish, particularly popular in Bolivia, Peru, and parts of Argentina. These savory corn cakes are made from a mixture of ground fresh corn, cheese, and spices, all wrapped in corn husks and then steamed or boiled. Humintas are a beloved street food and also enjoyed at festivals and family gatherings. Here's a basic recipe for making Bolivian-style humintas. Ingredients. 6 to 8 large ears of fresh corn, or 3 to 4 cups of corn kernels. 1 cup fresh cheese, queso fresco, crumbled. 1 half cup butter, melted. 1 half cup sugar, optional, for a touch of sweetness. 1 half teaspoon salt, or to taste. 1 half teaspoon ground black pepper. A pinch of ground anise or fennel seeds, optional. Corn husks, soaked in warm water to soften. String or twine for tying the humintas. Instructions. Preparing the corn mixture. Start by shucking the fresh corn, removing the husks and silk. Keep the corn husks for later use. Grate the corn kernels from the cobs. You can use a box grater or a food processor for this step. Alternatively, you can use frozen corn kernels if fresh corn is not available. In a large mixing bowl, combine the grated corn, crumbled queso fresco, melted butter, sugar, if using, salt, ground black pepper, and ground anise or fennel seeds if desired. Mix well to create a uniform mixture. Assembling the humintas. Take one softened corn husk and place a spoonful of the corn mixture onto the center of the husk. Fold the sides of the corn husk over the mixture, covering it completely. Fold up the bottom of the husk to create a neat package. 
You can secure it with a piece of string or twine if needed. Cooking the humintas. To cook the humintas, you can either steam or boil them. Here's how to do each method. Steaming. Place the humintas upright, folded side down, in a steamer or large pot with a steamer basket. Steam them over simmering water for about 1 to 1.5 hours until the humintas are firm and fully cooked. You can check doneness by inserting a toothpick. It should come out clean. Yuca rellena. Fried yuca stuffed with cheese or meat. Yuca rellena is a popular and delicious Latin American dish made from yuca, cassava, that's stuffed with a savory filling, often featuring cheese or seasoned meat. The yuca is typically boiled until tender, mashed, and then formed into pockets or balls to encase the filling. Afterward, it's fried until crispy. Here's a recipe for making yuca rellena. Ingredients. For the yuca dough. 2 pounds yuca, cassava, peeled and cut into chunks. Salt, to taste. For the filling, choose one option. For cheese stuffed yuca rellena. Queso fresco, mozzarella, or your preferred cheese, cut into small cubes. For meat stuffed yuca rellena. 1 half pound ground beef or ground chicken. 1 small onion, finely chopped. 2 cloves garlic, minced. 1 half teaspoon ground cumin. 1 half teaspoon paprika. Salt and pepper, to taste. Cooking oil, for sauteing. For frying. Vegetable oil, for deep frying. Instructions. Preparing the yuca. Start by peeling the yuca and cutting it into chunks. Be sure to remove any woody, fibrous core from the center. Place the yuca chunks in a large pot of salted water. Bring the water to a boil and cook the yuca until it's tender, which usually takes about 20 to 30 minutes. Drain the cooked yuca and let it cool slightly. Remove any tough, fibrous strands from the yuca, as these can be unpleasant when eating. Mash the cooked yuca until it's smooth and free of lumps. You can use a potato masher or a fork for this. Preparing the filling. For cheese stuffed yuca rellena. Take a small portion of the mashed yuca and flatten it in your palm. Place a cube of cheese in the center of the flattened yuca. Fold the yuca over the cheese to encase it completely, forming a ball or pocket. Ensure there are no openings. For meat stuffed yuca rellena. In a skillet, heat a bit of cooking oil over medium-high heat. Add the chopped onion and minced garlic. Sauté until they become translucent. Add the ground beef or chicken to the skillet and cook until it's browned and cooked through. Season the meat with ground cumin, paprika, salt, and pepper to taste. Mix well. Remove the seasoned meat from the heat and let it cool slightly.